67. They're responding Delta for a 24-year-old male. He has a stab wound to the back of the neck. City police are en route. 1967-10-4. So when the call comes in to hear stabbing to the neck, I always think, how close is it to the spine? Is this guy going to be paralyzed? How big is the knife? How deep was it put in? Let's do a really good thorough head to toe and make sure he doesn't have injuries somewhere else. Right. Sounds good. With any stabbing, we always assume that the patient has an internal injury. So here we are. And that bleeding is a potential. What's happening? I just did a last week for the back of his neck. Is he bleeding pretty heavy duty? Yeah. I'm just going to get your jacket off here, OK? We want to take a real quick look at you. We want to make sure there's no other injuries, okay? Okay, okay there's just one strap. Okay, how's your head feel? Feels all right for my neck. Where'd you this place? Okay, jaw, nothing hurts, yeah. sir. Do you know what happened? Can you tell me? I think it was gang related, but I dropped my gang stuff, so. Okay. Sounds like this gentleman was involved in an altercation. Sounds like it could be possibly gang related. Sometimes if a patient has one prominent injury, I'm gonna open up here and take a look at your chest. They're distracted from any other injuries that they may have. No holes in your chest, no. pain in your stomach anywhere? Just the one stab wound. Okay, no, nothing in the back. I, I gotta check everything, okay? Stab wounds are very hard to assess. We have no idea how deep it goes. I, it could I have nicked an artery, okay. or it could have hit a spinal cord. Nothing in the back anywhere, Brett. I'm gonna steal those tubes there for a sec. Have a listen to them. Take a big breath. Nice and clear, all round times four. Do you have any numbness tingling in your sure, fingers? Can, absolutely. Well, bring me okay. the light. Bring me your, you got a light. Yeah, okay, I got a light lighting. right here. Let's have a look. Put it on. Ah, uh, yeah. Hang on a second. Could be. Okay, does that hurt right there? Yeah, I don't know how deep it is, and it's right on a C-spot. Yeah. Seeing the location of this stab wound, I'm surprised this guy's standing. If it's right on his spine, he should be dead or paralyzed. It looks to be C-3-4 area. When I look up, it hurts. Don't look up, okay? We're taking every when precaution, I... okay? It's very important that he stay as still as possible. Hi, this is Mike. I'm a paramedic with MD Ambulance. Just letting you guys know, we are on scene right now with a 24-year-old with a stab wound at the back of his neck. It looks to be about an inch and a half, two inches wide, but it's right on his C-spine. Okay, so this is just a reminder for you to keep your head nice and still, okay? Just sit right back. Just sit yeah. back. Try to keep your head still. We're gonna turn you, and yeah. we're gonna lay you flat on the yeah, stretcher. I got you. Here, legs. bring your arms. Bring your arms right. into your belly. We bring got your, you. We're okay. gonna, they're just gonna spin you on Mike's kill. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Good man. Just like that. You okay? We're gonna take you to the university hospital, okay? And they're gonna go over everything that's occurred. We're not asking for names, they're just asking for what happened and why the reason for the stabbing and how it occurred. I kicked him in the leg and then I grabbed him. Yeah. And then I think he tried to grab me and then I felt a really, a really weird feeling in my neck and I knew right then and there that he stabbed me. Given what happened to him, the fact that he is still standing and breathing shows an immense amount of luck. Thank you.